The Game Boy is an 8-bit handheld game console which was developed and manufactured by Nintendo and first released on April 21, 1989, the 21st of April 1989, in North America on July 31, 1989, the 31st of July 1989, and in Europe on September 28, 1990, the 28th of September 1990. It is the first handheld console in the Game Boy line and was created and published by Satoru Okada and Nintendo Research and Development One. This same team, led by Gunpei Yokoi at the time, is credited with designing the Game & Watch series as well as several popular games for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Redesigned versions were released in 1996 and 1998 in the form of Game Boy Pocket and Game Boy Lite Japan only, respectively. The Game Boy is Nintendo's first handheld game console and it combined features from both the Nintendo Entertainment System and Game & Watch. It was sold either as a standalone unit or bundled with the puzzle game Tetris. During its early lifetime, the Game Boy mainly competed with Sega's Game Gear, Atari's Lynx, and NEC's TurboExpress. The Game Boy outsold its rivals and became a significant success. The Game Boy and its successor, the Game Boy Color, have sold over 118 million units worldwide. Upon the Game Boy's release in the United States, its entire shipment of 1 million units was sold within a few weeks. Production of the Game Boy and Game Boy Color were discontinued in the early 2000s, being replaced by the subsequent Game Boy Advance, released in 2001. History. Topic Development. The original internal code name for the Game Boy was Dot Matrix Game, which its initials came to be featured on the final product's model number DMG01. The internal reception of the device was initially very poor. The DMG even earned from Nintendo employees the derogatory nickname Dame Game, Dame being the Japanese for hopeless or lame. In that context. Topic Launch Titles. Topic Hardware. The Game Boy has four operation buttons labeled A, B, Select, and Start as well as a directional pad. There is a volume control dial on the right side of the device and a similar dial on the left side to adjust the contrast. At the top of the Game Boy, a sliding on-off switch and the slot for the Game Boy cartridges are located. The on-off switch includes a physical lockout to prevent users from either inserting or removing a cartridge while the unit is switched on. Nintendo recommends users leave a cartridge in the slot to prevent dust and dirt from entering the system. The Game Boy also contains optional input and or output connectors. On the left side of the system is an external 3.5 mm x 1.35 mm DC power supply jack that allows users to use an external rechargeable battery pack or AC adapter sold separately instead of four AA batteries. The Game Boy requires 6 volts DC of at least 150 mA. A 3.5 mm stereo headphone jack is located on the bottom side of the unit which allows users to listen to the audio with the bundled headphones or external speakers. The right side of the device offers a port which allows a user to connect to another Game Boy system via a link cable, provided both users are playing the same game. The port can also be used to connect a Game Boy printer. The link cable was originally designed for players to play head-to-head two-player games such as in Tetris. However, game developer Satoshi Tajiri would later use the link cable technology as a method of communication and networking in the popular Pokémon video game series. Technical specifications CPU custom 8-bit Sharp LR35902 at 4.19 MHz. This processor is similar to an Intel 8080 in that none of the registers introduced in the Z80 are present. However, some of the Z80's instruction set enhancements over the 8080, particularly bit manipulation, are present. 
Still other instructions are unique to this particular flavor of 8080, Z80 CPU, parity flag, half of conditional and all input-output instructions were removed from 8080 instruction set also. The IC also contains integrated sound generation. RAM, 8 KB internal S RAM can be extended up to 32 KB. Video RAM, 8 KB internal ROM, on CPU die 256 byte bootstrap, 256 kilobits, 512 kilobits, 1 megabit, 2 megabits, 4 megabits and 8 megabits cartridges Sound, two pulse wave generators, one PCM 4-bit wave sample 64 4-bit samples played in 1 times 64 bank or 2 times 32 bank channel, one noise generator, and one audio input from the cartridge. The unit only has one speaker, but the headphone port outputs stereo sound. Display, reflective STN LCD 160 times 144 pixels Frame rate, approximately 59.7 frames per second Vertical blank duration, approximately 1.1 milliseconds Screen size, 66 mm diagonal Color palette, 2-bit, 4 shades of gray, light to very dark olive green Communication, two Game Boys can be linked together via built-in serial ports, up to four with a DMG07 4-player adapter and 16 in maximum power 6 volts 0.7 w 4 AA batteries provide approximately 15 hours of gameplay dimensions 90 mm w times 148 mm h times 32 mm d 3.5 times 5.8 times 1 3 inches weight 220 grams topic Revisions Topic <laughs> Play It Loud On March 20, 1995, Nintendo released several Game Boy models with colored cases, advertising them in the Play It Loud Campaign Japanese name Game Boy Bros Gimubo Iburosu Gemu Boy Burosu Gimubo Iburaza Su Gemu Boy Burazasa Specifications for this unit remain exactly the same as the original Game Boy, including the monochromatic screen. This new line of colored Game Boys would set a precedent for later Nintendo handhelds, every one of them since has been available in more than one color. Play it loud, units were manufactured in red, green, black, yellow, white, blue, and clear transparent, or sometimes called X-ray in the UK. Most common are the yellow, red, clear and black, green is fairly scarce but blue and white are the rarest. Blue was a Europe and Japan only release, white was a Japanese majority release with UK Toys R Us stores also getting it as an exclusive addition to them. The white remains the rarest of all the Play It Loud colours. A rare, limited edition Manchester United Game Boy is red, with the logos of the team emblazoned on it. It was released simultaneously with the Play It Loud, handhelds in the United Kingdom. The Play It Loud screens also have a darker border than the normal Game Boy. <laughs> Game Boy Pocket In 1996, Nintendo released the Game Boy Pocket, a smaller, lighter unit that required fewer batteries. It has space for two AAA batteries, which provide approximately 10 hours of gameplay. The unit is also fitted with a 3-volt, 2.35 mm by 0.75 mm DC jack which can be used to power the system. The Pocket has a smaller link port, which requires an adapter to link with the older Game Boy. The port design is used on all subsequent Game Boy models, excluding the Game Boy Micro. The screen was changed to a true black and white display, rather than the pea soup monochromatic display of the original Game Boy. Also, the Game Boy Pocket GBP has a larger screen than the Game Boy Color GBC that later superseded it. The GBP screen has a 65 mm in diagonal, 48.5 mm in width, and 43.5 mm in height, compared to a 59 mm in diagonal for the GBC. 
Although, like its predecessor, the Game Boy Pocket has no backlight to allow play in a darkened area, it did notably improve visibility and pixel response time mostly eliminating ghosting. The first version did not have a power LED. This was soon added due to public demand, along with new Game Boy Pocket units of different colors released on April 28, 1997, some of them new to the Game Boy line. There were several limited edition Game Boy Pockets, including a gold medal model exclusive to Japan. The Game Boy Pocket was not a new software platform and played the same software as the original Game Boy model. A clear skeleton Famitsu edition appeared in 1997, which had only 5,000 units released, and a clear yellow edition. See also, list of Game Boy Pocket colors and styles. Game Boy Light The Game Boy Light was released on April 14, 1998, for 6,800 yen and was only available in Japan. The Game Boy Light is only slightly bigger than the Game Boy Pocket and features an electroluminescent backlight for low light conditions. It uses two AA batteries, which gave it approximately 20 hours with the light off and 12 with it on. It was available in two standard colors, gold and silver. It also received numerous special editions, including an Astro Boy edition with a clear case and a picture of Astro Boy on it, an Osamu Tezuka World edition with a clear red case and a picture of his characters, and a solid yellow Pokémon Center Tokyo version. Reception Though it was less technically advanced than the Lynx and other competitors, the Game Boy's excellent battery life and rugged hardware and the popularity of the bundled Tetris and other games made it much more successful. In its first two weeks in Japan, from its release on April 21, 1989, the entire stock consisting of 300,000 units was sold. A few months later, the Game Boy's release in the United States on July 31, 1989, saw 40,000 units sold on its first day. The Game Boy and Game Boy Color combined have sold 118.69 million units worldwide, with 32.47 million units in Japan, 44.06 million in the Americas, and 42.16 million in other regions. By Japanese fiscal year 1997, before Game Boy Color's release in late 1998, the Game Boy alone had sold 64.42 million units worldwide. At a March 14, 1994 press conference in San Francisco, Nintendo Vice President of Marketing Peter Main answered queries about when Nintendo was coming out with a color handheld system by stating that sales of the Game Boy were strong enough that it had decided to hold off on developing a successor handheld for the near future. In 1995, Nintendo of America announced that 46% of Game Boy players were female, which was higher than the percentage of female players for both the Nintendo Entertainment System. 29% and Super Nintendo Entertainment System 14%. In 2009, the Game Boy was inducted into the National Toy Hall of Fame, 20 years after its introduction. As of June 6, 2011, Game Boy and Game Boy Color games are available on the virtual console service on the Nintendo 3DS's Nintendo eShop. See also List of Game Boy colors and styles List of games for the original Game Boy Game Boy accessories description of some selected accessories Game Boy Advance Game Boy Line Microvision the first handheld to use cartridges equals equals notes <laughs>